de estos grupos escolares es que te transmiten la energía que tienen. Son niños, son adolescentes, eh, están llenos de entusiasmo por conocer sitios, relacionarse con gente, aprender palabras nuevas, divertirse y evidentemente eso se contagia, tienes que tirar de ellos para que eso sea así y bueno, es alegre y divertido estar fuera de la oficina, de la clase y poder hacer estas actividades. ¡Vamos a la playa! ¡A mí me gusta Schools can choose to include Spanish classes or no, no Spanish classes. They can choose how many hours, uh, whether that's one hour a day, four hours a day. And then in the afternoon, we all offer all sorts of activities. It could be maybe an excursion to Sevilla, um, to Cadiz, Jerez, or any other city in the area. Uh, it could also just be an afternoon at the beach, maybe playing some sports. Uh, we offer lots of different sports options as well, maybe kayaking, paddle tennis, which is a bit of a combination between tennis and squash, very popular here. Um, and then also maybe things like uh, rugby, football, different types of sports programs. Um, another very popular thing um, we find are the combined city tours. We've had uh, combined tours organized to Madrid, where students stay in Madrid for three days 
and then come down to Andalusia for another three days, or maybe a bigger Andalusian trip where we have um, El Puerto and Seville, and then maybe going off to Cordoba and then going off to Granada. So students really get a chance to see um, quite a lot of, of Andalusia or, or the country. I've had a really nice time. I've really enjoyed the lessons. I thought they're really um, beneficial for my Spanish. And Maria's a really good teacher. Um, I've also really improved my grammar, which is good because it's a bit of a low point for me. Um, and also, yeah, like the learning about the culture and everything was really interesting as well. So yeah, had a really nice time. Pescado. Pescado. Ah, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre perro y pescado? Pescado es para comer y pez es um, animal. Uh -huh. Alive. ¿Cómo se dice alive? Vive. Vive. Vivo. Exacto. El pez está vivo y vive en el mar. El pescado está muerto y está en el plato para comerse. We've learned a lot about our families and how to say stuff about our families and all about our homes and what's in our homes. Um, with Mario, who's a really good teacher, we have lots of fun in class playing games and stuff, which is really important. Simpático? No. 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 Le gusta el fútbol, ¿no? Le gusta el fútbol, le gusta el fútbol. Sí, y juega, sí, sí. a veces. Okay, um, ¿Es español? Sí. sí. Oh, no. <risa> sigue, sigue, continúa. Uh, ¿Es bajo? No, no, no. ¿No? Sí. ¿No? Es... ¿No? ¿Seguro? No. Vale. ¿Es famoso? No. no. summer camp students coming over to learn those languages um, in the summer months as well which can be residential or non-residential with host families and then we also have family programs where literally a whole family comes over parents usually learning Spanish and then the children um, also learning Spanish in uh, classes for their ages. At Spark every single person on our team is a teacher or a past teacher um, so we can really empathize with teachers trying to organize a school trip for their teachers. We know what their struggles are, we know what they find difficult. Um, so we do really try and help them in every way that we can, meaning that we want to really provide educational trips, we want to provide trips that are fun, but we also want to make sure that our trips are hassle-free for the teachers coming over, because we do understand the struggles and we want to make it as easy for them as possible. We've brought a group of 23 girls from Oxfordshire to spend um, a week here in El Puerto de Santa Maria with Spark and we've been really delighted. 
Uh, the girls have had fantastic lessons with um, the classes really tailored to exactly what they need to, to learn. Um, then in the afternoons we've done excursions to amazing places like Seville and Cadiz and Jerez where there's just so much to see, um, the weather's been wonderful and also the, the girls are staying in families where they have been made to feel really welcome and can really use their Spanish and find out about the Spanish way of life. Uh, Puerto, I think, is a really fantastic place for school trip programs because of four main reasons. Um, I think, first of all, it's a small town, which means that it's quite safe for students and their teachers. Um, you don't have to worry that students are maybe hosted at different ends of the, of the city having to take metros or whatever in, in the morning um, to kind of get to school. Second of all, it's a very Spanish uh, place. It's very authentic. It hasn't been um, discovered so much by foreign tourists, which makes it um, a lot more... Uh, interesting, I think, for students trying to learn more about Spanish culture. And uh, then a third really good uh, thing about El Puerto, in my opinion, is it's very well connected to different cities. Um, Seville is just under an hour and a half away from here. There's Cadiz, which is just a ferry ride across from, uh, from El Puerto along the bay. And then there's Jerez, Ronda, lots of nice places that are easy to get, or get to and provide very good opportunities for, um, for day trips. And I think um, the last reason um, is the fact that it's in the south of Spain. We have very nice weather during the majority of the year. We've got some really nice um, beaches, which is obviously very nice for students to kind of have at least one afternoon on the beach as well.